we seem to have managed to bust people like ransomware criminals or dark web marketeers simply by analyzing their Bitcoin transactions, which are not, they're only pseudo anonymous. They're not fully anonymous. Mm -hmm. And there've been some massive busts where billions of dollars have actually been recovered mm -hmm. and bad operators have been caught and have been sent to prison. Uh, you know, I, either for selling stuff that's plainly illegal or for laundering money or in one very tragic case, child abuse imagery. Mm. A US journalist slash writer called Andy Greenberg wrote a fascinating book about this called Traces in the Dark. The primary investigator worked for the IRS, the revenue service. He figured, well, following the money usually works. The fact that it's gone through the blockchain Bitcoin prevents us from just looking up who did it, like we could if it was, say, a credit card mm. transaction or a bank transaction. But it doesn't stop us beginning to form opinions about who spoke to whom and when and why and where and eventually finding out who's at the nexus of all mm. of this. And they did these busts without cracking any encryption, without breaking any blockchain hashes, without cracking anybody's Bitcoin private keys. They were just able to come up with sufficient evidence that said, this person clearly traded with that person. And this is, we have good evidence that this is what they were doing when they were trading. Mm. More than enough to obtain a conviction in court.